Hi there, this is Chris with Blue Raven Studios again, and today we're going to take a look at a helpful little video on how to change the directions for uh, how to get to a business if you're having some trouble with customers finding your business and they're having trouble with the directions, maybe they're kind of getting turned around a little bit. This is a, a way to get in there and kind of make an adjustment to your directions and make a suggestion to Google Maps and the Google Maps team. So we're going to take a look at how to do that. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Google Maps. If you don't know how to do that, you go to maps.google.com. And it brings you to the default Google Maps. And then in the search box, you type the business that you're looking for. In this particular case, we're looking for a company that we do some work for called Eagle Rider down in Miami, Florida. There it is there. You can see it in the suggestions. Eagle Rider Motorcycle Rentals and Tours. Oops, no, sorry, that was Fort Lauderdale. I just realized that was Fort Lauderdale. Miami. There we go. Now we're looking at the Miami listing. This is the one that's having the problem that we're going to help them out with. So um, here on the left-hand side, you can see where you've got the basic business information, the uh, a street address, which is 7871 Northwest 15th Street, um, and then their phone number and their business hours. And then you can see some of the imagery that we've done for them. You can see the the here's 27 images of still pictures of the inside and the outside of the business and some of the product. And we also did a, a nice new street view for them. And we also did one of those Google Maps street views of the inside of the business. But we're, we'll talk about that another time. Uh, today we're talking about uh, directions. So uh, at the top, you can see on the right-hand side, uh, under the directions module, you've got directions. So you just click on directions, and it's going to give you some, it's going to ask you, where do you want directions from? So we'll just type in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Okay. And it's going to give us some directions from Fort Lauderdale to this business. And you can see Google Maps does a nice job of making a suggested route and gives you a couple of alternatives. And over here on the left-hand side, it does the same thing. It gives you a couple of different alternatives. And the customers, I guess, are the, the problem they're having is even though the address says that they're on uh, 15th Street, the problem is is that when you zoom in, you see that the directions it's giving are to 78th Ave. Okay, and the business is over here on 15th Street. And the problem's probably caused because you see here that, that Northwest 15th Street makes this weird little kind of a little hop there to the left and continues up, and that, that's their business address. So that's probably what's causing the problem. So let's, uh, let's make a suggestion on how to fix that. So uh, that's one of the last details in the direction. So you kind of, what you got to do is you got to find that detail of the direction. So it doesn't really matter which of these three routes that it's suggesting. We'll just choose the 95 uh, route, and then we'll choose the details there. And now it lists out the details for how to get to uh, the business. And then you can look, and it kind of gives you these little arrows so you can get more specific, okay? And these are these are the last, so first it says get on 95 South, and then follow 95. Uh, and then when it gets more specific, it says take Northwest 12th to Northwest 78th Ave, and, and this is where the problem starts here. So let's take a look at those details, and you can see here they're listed out here on the left-hand side. Okay, continue to Northwest 11th Ave, and it continues on. Turn left at the first cross, turn right here, and then turn right onto Northwest 78th. These are the last couple of directions here. Turn right onto Northwest 78th Ave. And then turn right to stay on Northwest 78th Ave. Again, destination will be. I could I could certainly see how customers could be confused by that. So now the next thing you want to do is you go over here to the right hand bottom corner, and you'll see a send feedback link. Now this is uh, what you need to click in order to send some sort of a, a change or a suggestion to the Google Maps team. So that's what we want to do. So we're going to head and click that. Okay. And then go over here to the directions, scroll down, okay, and you'll see here 
destination will be on the right. We're going to click that. And because we've clicked send feedback, it knows that we want to make a change. Okay. And so this is the step where you make that last and you explain that this is, you know, it's maybe the wrong direction or you want to make a change or you want to make a suggestion. This is the step that you do that. Okay. And if they already give you a couple of different options. Road name is wrong. Can't turn because the road is closed. Can't turn because the road is, the, is a one way. Can't turn because the road is restricted. Or other problems with this step. So that's the one we're going to select is other problems with that step. And here it gives us a nice little box where we can make uh, suggestions and explain further in detail what the problem is. So it could be uh, anything if we want to say um, uh, uh, gives directions to wrong street or um, or uh, not giving directions to the front of the store, uh, th you know, whatever it is that you want to type or suggest, this is where you would type that. So we'll just say that not giving, uh, we'll say uh, directions do not match business address. Please adjust. Okay. And what happens when you click submit is that's actually sent to a tech that works on Google Maps, works right out of Mountain View, and that uh, suggestion goes to them. They review it, and they will make, uh, if they think that you are correct and it's a viable request, then they'll make that change and they'll make that adjustment for you. So uh, that's it uh, for today's little video. And I thank you again for hanging in there and watching with me while we did it together. I hope it's helpful. I hope it helps you to improve your own Google Maps listing. And I just want to remind you that BlueRavenStudios.com, uh, not only do we work with Google Maps and, and helping you to improve your Google Maps business listing, uh, but we also build beautiful websites. Uh, we do wonderful videos. You can find all of it on our website at BlueRavenStudios.com. Uh, in our portfolio, you can find all kinds of samples of different Google Maps street views and videos that we've done, photography, interactive virtual tours. Uh, we build websites, and apps, and do all kinds of stuff, as well as help you manage your social networks and SEO profile on the search engine. So uh, thanks again for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, uh, go ahead and like it and share it. Make a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you.